Now I'm an astronomer. And here in the forest, where I first learned my way around the starry sky as a child, I've built an observatory up in the mountains, away from the lights of the city. Astronomers are people who watch and study the sky, which means I've been an astronomer since I was nine years old. I remember one summer morning as if it were yesterday, because that was when the twinkling of a special distant star caught my eye and my imagination. That's when I began my quest to explore the universe. It's a quest you can take whenever you want by simply looking up at the night sky. My parents first taught me about star patterns. The first one I learned was the Big Dipper, over here, in the north. Okay, it's easy to find. There are three stars in the handle, and four in the cup. It sort of looks like a spoon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. That's right. Now, see how the handle of the dipper makes a curve? Yeah. Okay, let's follow the curve and make an arc to this bright star. It's called Arcturus. Arcturus? Yeah, that's it. We've arced to Arcturus. I looked up and saw the constellation Orion in the sky. The three belt stars pointed straight down to the most amazing star I'd ever seen. It sparkled like a diamond, blue and white. It's called Sirius. It's the brightest star in the night sky. Wow! Is it really close to us? The star chart says that Sirius is almost nine light years away. Every year, I'd go out on my birthday and wait for Sirius to appear above the horizon. It's the star that started me on my sky quest. A comet called Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter. Actually, it was a 21-piece comet. As each piece plowed into the clouds of Jupiter, there were tremendous explosions and huge amounts of dark material splashed out from the impact sites. I saw those dark markings through my telescope. And of course, the Hubble Space Telescope took even better pictures. But the impact sites slowly spread out as Jupiter's winds blew the clouds around. But even if you can't get away from the city, that doesn't mean you can't watch and learn the night sky. You can do it from your own backyard. Go out tonight. Look up and find a star pattern with a really bright star. That's all you have to do to start your own sky quest. Try it, and you'll find a special place for yourself in the universe.